They've been using the AUG a lot despite the change. Some teams have gone back to the M4. They seemingly have not. Smoke on top of the bomb. It's a little bit deep. It doesn't cover the front side of the bathrooms. The shots will, no. though they won't. JW hits it despite being blind. He thinks it's one back. One only knows exists. Is in the corner. Follows that with the headshot. He He's sitting it. He's going to stick this. Twist does the AWP. He's missed. He's missed it. Twist has missed it. He's going to oh! try to spray it back. He just barely holds it. And we are not done. And a sweep is possible. Don't rule this out. That might still save this game. Ethan's solo on B though, so this is gonna get sour here for Evil Geniuses really quick. Four on A, single man on B. What? No way. Ethan with the triple! What the? Here we go. Plenty of flashbangs as well. Breezy's gonna have to try and find a very ridiculous headshot, but now Ethan does exactly that. Oh. Two, three! Ethan! Unreal the with bomb. the 5-7. We talk about the pistol. Single-handedly fills the kill feed. And there's the first kill, not the second though. Tarak has to fight back, and can Cirque deny the plant? Certainly not, very close. It's not gonna happen though. Three versus three, all still in the hands of Art, and it's an open plant as well. With no smoke, I take it back. Breezy has a smoke. They can make things uncomfortable here. Yeah, as you say, it's all about that smoke, putting it in the right spot, but oh, we've seen some plenty plenty of good smoke frags here. Go. Gonna go for the committed play. Can they find him? Oh, knife comes out! Oh, oh, oh he's no. done it! Was so close, but he was still alive as well. Oh my god. Inches. I told you this game would be like this. Oh wow. It's not even inches, it's millimeters. That's insane. <laughs> One more knife slash. Round. It was done. Look how close the kills are. It's all so scrappy now. Oh man. Oh, did you see that goal? Oh, oh my god. First it's gonna player. kill the diffuser. Imagine that, get your own teammate as he's diffusing the bomb. Suddenly <laughs> you are in a poverty situation and North could end up winning the half at this point, like by by a reasonable margin. Oh, well, maybe not. That's what? a Glock. It's a Glock, that. It's, uh, that's why. Exactly. The moment he looks away is when he comes through, and now they'll fully commit towards B. But look who's waiting on the other side. It's Ethan. If he had the M4, they'd be in trouble, but he's still pretty handy with the AWP. Circle joined him as well. Both the orbs trying to hold the door here. They bring it back to a three versus three. Now a two on two. S tag and Snappy with time running out here. They need to get that bomb down. Tarak will arrive shortly. But now Ethan's still alive and kicking. It looks like he might have done enough here. Just needs to deny that plant if possible. One of them's going to have to take four seconds to get that bomb down. Ethan knows it. Can they deny anything? Oh, he gets it. That's it, the round. That's it. No time left. Excellent work there. EG got 12 to 3 on their CT side. Fagger with 19. It's all breezy and it has looked easy. Oh. Somebody though. What? Takes off Fugly's aggression. What is happening here? Molotov does connect. Kylo found a lot of success over towards this B bomb site and that's where they're going. Why is there not just a little bit more concern for Ethan's vitality? That's why. Because he can hit shots like that. He takes two down, doesn't lose a single point of health and the call is made. Tai Lu. Their attack is going to be completely hamstrung by this presence from Daps. Two of them charging up Banana. I think the bomb plant is a possibility, but I'm going to actually have to shut the hell up. Sure, a bomb plant, but they're there, and that's incredible. Ethan left to his own devices. He takes four kills and the 15th for NRG. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. No, I didn't like that movie. Yeah, well, it would have been pretty clever. I like Tom that. Cruise is really short. Yeah. You're not much taller. That's a lie. Is you it? once said in an interview that I was 5'8". I'm 5'10", thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get the barometer. What's the, how would you measure someone's height? Barometer. Barometer is the wrong word. Just get, a, just get, just get a, the, the, the ruler Measuring tape, this. ruler, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got that. Yardstick. Meter stick. There you go. 5'10", thank you very much. Ethan looking to close things out. He hasn't got much to work with here. In the palace. Incendiary is the problem. Smoke towards the palace won't help either. If they smoke the palace, he is done for. Gets the first, takes a nade to the face, and now it really comes down to the mind game. So I think like the CTs have done enough. The flashbang, though, this is tense. All of my running out of time. Has to be the full defuse. Ethan's coming oh in, and he's done it. There it is. Ethan's waiting to see if they're even near the bomb. Smoke down. I don't think it's fully covered it, though. Smoke to cover the e-box means they have to go wide. It means they don't have the tin can to protect the bullets. Ethan, great guess as to where the diffuser was, but three HP. He is so fragile. It doesn't matter if Crimson goes on the bomb and he'll just barely spot him at the last possible second. That's so sick from Ethan. He had three HP. Just a bit too early. Here's the flashbangs. One player at long. Golden needs this kill and he's got it. One player inside of pit. He's gonna be forced into a passive angle, but that's Ethan coming right through the smoke. Almost three kills. The AWP of Automatic can do nothing from the high ground, and Ethan's finally got it.
I mean, you sometimes forget how good Ethan is. I mean, this is just a, a stunning round out of him. Three kills with the orb. Cajun inside of the smoke, and it'll be the quad as well for Ethan. Now, he's read the money well, and that is going to set it up. They'll probably smoke towards heaven. Maybe try a player down towards Vents, we will see. But here comes a full commitment. The bomb's not going to make it down, that's for sure. Ethan mowing them down. There's no problem at all. Didn't really have to break a sweat there. He styles on them for the final kill as they find double digits as well. Alex, 10 to 2. Game as Rush is going to be picking up that. That does make it look a lot better. And could have probably got that kill too. Breeze barely surviving. Golden taking down. Oh no, they line up for Ethan. And he's going to take both of them down. Vice still working in mid. Is gonna get caught. He knows the fire now. The game is up. He definitely understands it out the window. Golden, he's got a chance here. It's not a big one because one missed shot and he's gonna get run over. He's trying to dodge him. There's Ethan. Quad kill for him, saving the round here. The first kill of this retake onto Daps, who is lurking Ivy, but we are seeing some aggressive tees. Are they able to pick up any oh, frags? Tarek, oh! Sand is a surprise. Oh, they can't convert. He was in such a great spot. He was actually a, a wolf amongst the sheep, but still, it's just Ethan. 1v3 yeah. with only 7 HP and a lowly Galil. He's at the tanker drain. Okay. He's got the first. The okay. second as well. Now Yell has an op of all things. He's jumped down low. Oh Ethan's got the goodness. shot. He's oh got one in the water. Goodness. And Ethan clutches out with an ace, a 1v3 ace clutch. <laughs> they really don't want him to see anything, and he still gets a kill. Nathan's actually might be able to deny the plant. He's going to get a kill. At the second with the Deagle, finally, this team springs into life as now Cooper is left alone. 13 HP, an orb in his hand, and how do they win that round? Of all the rounds, EG have had the chance to win. How on earth is it that one? And looks like it's gonna be, there's gonna be no breaks on this. Ethan leading the charge, Breeze right behind him, and this opening is looking so good. Kenny caught, and he could not make it out. And Nexa, even with that kill, there were gonna be more people. He was always gonna end up losing that fight. Oh, oh no, Ethan, that's dirty. Taking down Jax through the smoke, not even, that. might as well pack it up now. Up. I think they're still gonna go for it. Terror coming through the Molotov, low HP. Oh, what a great shot from Hunter. And some spam, some timing. Ethan going for the ace. He's got four so far, <laughs> and he finds it. He just taps away a random shot, gives him all five in the round. The flash is so good though, but he holds his nerve, and he holds the line. What, it just walks so into fast. it. From his left eye, with his left hand, he does go down. Left two of their own devices is Ethan and Tarek. Two versus two, great precision from Ethan. This is nonsense, oh that's ridiculous. Four frags from Ethan to pull the second out of the bag for EG. Land. There's a second one to go with it. Nice flashbang as well. Ethan will eat the taint flash though. There's a, gonna be the first frag for him anyway. Starts to fall back, more flashes coming through. Stan trying to track, there's a big gap in those smokes. Ethan still on the site, can play double peak of his teammates. Pop, pop, Ethan's trying to kill everybody now. Kika and Jane remain. This is not the spot they were looking for. Yeah, this is really tough. If only they had a Molotov or something to deal with Ethan. But he seems to be just owning it from this position. Jame, though, will return one headshot onto Tarek. Jame trying to also cover the crossover position and the key cut as well. There's not too much that they can do. Too many men. Oh, it's the one that takes all the damage, though. He was actually behind Brock. The nades went over the half wall. He's going to continue to push. Oh, no. Again. That flash was... It says it was assisted by the T's, but I think that was CT. Oh, surely the one that got him was... Greater, or rather, more poorly placed by his teammates. Still, they recover it to a two on two, but it opens a banana and allows them to get so far forward. And Rain's gonna have to rotate over. You're pointing out the fact that they've got no smoke. Yeah, they've got no smoke, but they have got an orb. It might not be enough at this point. Good shot from Rain, but now a one versus one. Nico will have to deliver once again. Bomb to be planted. He's coming in from banana. Ethan though, has the advantage here. He's still got an incendiary. AWP in hand. This will be for the ace as well. He was the only player that had a weapon in this round. He had the Galil, his teammates with the CZs and Deagles. But the Galil comes out on top. Time ticking away. Nico doesn't have much utility apart from an AG here. Can't smoke the bomb and defuse. Has to try and sniff him out. And time is of the essence at this point. Ethan has buried himself towards the ruins. And Nico hoping he's going to be towards new boxes. He's not there. I think the round might be done at this point already. Throws the AG in vain. Goes for a defuse and it does connect. But at this point, it's Ethan with the ace. That's a huge round for them to pick up. He delivers the goods there. Gives them the lead as well. Seven. Towards Breezy Ava. Catch him over electric box. Take him down. Now Stannis has got two angles to worry about. Shadow spot. The spray comes through. He still gets the kill. But Poland there with a quick trade. Ethan, last man left. One tap onto Cobb. 1v3 for the clutch for the man. The bomb's still ticking away. He's planting the other side. Still turns the spray on Flom. Third kill on Poland. He gets it. And we'll see if that's the case and whether it can find a kill. 
Tony was top of middle, so that could have been punished just a little bit, but instead just gonna see the typical utility exchange and good damage to the CTs, but it's Ethan! He just holds down mouse one and shreds four members of NIP picked apart in an instant. And this round, nice and quick, just keeping things neat and tidy, even a nade down there as Ethan, he wants the ace and he's gifted it by his team. Not prepared for two players to be in the back line so fast. Uh, you know, most importantly, so silently as well. Ooh, MBK with the Deagle able to crack open this A bomb. So Ethan in CT though, looking to try and hold back Team Vitality. Ooh. And let me tell you, okay, they then. are barred from this A bomb. So <laughs> Ethan, he's not serving them today. Consequence in this situation, a few steps made. Ethan hasn't made any steps. And Breezer in, is in a flanking position in the meantime. Jerry knows there's one player in Mini, one player in Squeaky. But what can they really do if that falls up? They can die, it seems. Blitz got to be careful because his shadow will come out unless he goes around the corner, but Ethan is ready for it. A full exec, we'll soon find out, but there it is, the players lining up the smokes. Flash is going over, Daps on the defensive. And flashing for himself, the Galil's good for a double immediately. There's his third, fourth, and almost an ace from Ethan. So that's a long rotation for them to try to make it to A. Oh, Daps yeah. gets caught out. Oh, but then Fallen gets caught out. I thought like Fallen had done enough work to slow that down. Burbacks away with the AWP. NRG start to take control of it. Oh, <laughs> how is that from Ethan? So filthy to find the opening. Does NRG have that extra 10 second buffer? You know? Yeah, absolutely. But, whoa, they are not invincible, oh. despite being convincing. It is just Ethan. <laughs> oh, that was one, nasty. two, done. Whoa, man, that's sick.